Friday, so this is going to be my beauty favorites for January 2014, which is kind of strange to say. Um, I assumed I would have a lot this month because Christmas was last month, and I left a lot of those out of the December favorites because I'd only been using them a couple days, so a lot of those are in here as well. Um, I do have a number of items, some of them, well, a lot of them are new actually, but I do have some old favorites too, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. No particular order, but I am seeing a lot of blushes, so I figured I'd start there with some blush. All right, I have three new favorites this month, and I love blush, so um, I'm often looking at different colors. I'm really into matte blushes, because I like to kind of add my own highlight. I don't like it when a blush is super, super shimmery, unless it's like summer. Sometimes I am in the mood for that. But anyways, the first one I'm talking about is from NYX. This is the color Bourgeois Pig. Kind of an interesting name. This is what it looks like. And it's a really perfect kind of everyday pink color, and it's completely matte, which, like I said, I love. That's what it looks like. You can add it pretty lightly, and it looks um, more of a lighter pink. It's honestly not that pigmented, so it's not one of those scary blushes where a little, like, a little bit goes a super long way. I'm swatching it quite a bit here to get it show up on my hand. There's a pretty good swatch of it there. Just a really pretty flattering pink color. I do have it on my cheeks right now. I have it kind of towards the backs of my cheeks because on the apple part of my cheek here, I have this blush. It's from L'Oreal True Match and it's the color Baby Blossom. And I've been eyeing this up for a really, really long time because I've wanted just a cool toned, light color, pink color. Um, I know Illa Masca makes a pretty one called Katie, I believe. And I think this is supposed to be almost a dupe for it. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks super, super pale, which it is, but I can get it to show up on my skin tone just fine. There it is there. It's just really, really pretty, and like I said, I just kind of have it in this area on my cheeks. I have worn it all over my cheeks before. I do need quite a bit of product to get it to really, really show, but I just think it's a fun blush to play around with, so it's one of my favorites. And then a relatively new purchase is this Fox in a Box from Hard Candy. You guys know I love trying out products from Hard Candy. Look at the cute packaging. I've been eyeing up this guy for a while now, and I believe it was on sale at Walmart for a couple dollars, so I figured why not. It's a bronze blush duo. That's what it looks like there. And I thought when I purchased it, I would be using it as such, as the bronze and the blush kind of separately. But to my surprise, when you swirl these together, it's a really gorgeous color. I'm going to swirl it for you. It looks a little funky on my finger, but let me try and swatch it for you. It just turns into like... Um, a pink with a, a bronze kind of sheen in it. Hopefully the light can pick that up properly. So there's definitely pink and this has got this cool bronze sheen to it. So like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the shimmer blushes, but I don't find this overly um, sparkly or big bits of sparkle in it. It's just a really nice sheen. And when you swirl both colors together, it's really, really, really pretty. I'll show you, I'm just gonna wipe my fingers off. I'll show you the colors individually in case you wanna wear them separately. I have worn them separately. So there's the blush and the bronzer. It's a relatively light bronzer. So that's what those look like. Since I've been doing blush, I figured I'd pick up a bronzer because it's kind of in that family. Um, this one I've had for a year now, but I just recently found myself using it. And a lot of products you're gonna notice kind of are along this trend. Now, typically I am an oily skin tone. At least that is what I have thought for a number of years now. And even up until this summer, I was quite an oily skin tone. I get oily or shiny really, really fast. But over this fall, I've just found my skin has changed so much. I'm actually getting dry patches like around my nose here, um, sometimes down in this area here, sometimes on my forehead, and I'm just not really getting shiny. So I, I've been able to use kind of those glowing, dewy products a lot more and just getting a pretty glow and not ever looking like a shine ball. So in the past I have, this is a long tangent, but in the past I've avoided the products with the glow, dewy aspect to them and recently I've been gravitating towards them. This bronzer is from NARS, it's the Laguna bronzer. I haven't used a lot over the past year because it does have a bit of sheen to it. I don't know if you're going to pick it up on camera, but if you've ever swatched it, you can see that there's like a sheen on it. It's not completely matte. So I haven't really liked it a whole lot to warm up my face until recently. I'm wearing it today. It's very lightly warming up my face and it just gives my face the extra glow that I've been looking for. So I'll show you some more glowy products I've been loving. One is again from L'Oreal. It is the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. 
this is what it looks like here i got it on sale at that blush it was buy one and get one 50 percent off so this is what i decided to try out it's a primer it's kind of a white opalescent type color when it comes out you only really need one pump it comes a little pump it works great as a primer makes your makeup whatever you're putting on top glide on super easy and it just gives you that like lit from within glow that i've said before that a lot of products are a lot of products are coming up with this kind of thing I'm finding. So yeah, I just really like it. It makes my matte foundations just gives a little bit of life to them. So um, I'm not wearing it today, but I have been wearing it a lot, especially when I use my CoverGirl 3-in-1. What I am wearing today is a BB cream because I did a first impression with another BB cream. I don't know if it'll be up before or after this video, but I'll leave it linked down below if it's up. This one is my favorite BB cream out of the five that I tried. I got the five... BB Buzz sample pack from Sephora and this one is by far my favorite. It's from Bosha and it's the Bosha BB Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 27 oil free. This is what it looks like here. This is all I'm wearing on my skin right now except for a little bit of concealer under my eyes and some powder just to take down some of the initial shine but that's all I'm wearing. It's got great great coverage. It holds up really well. It's very thin in consistency. Um, yeah, I'll leave the link down below if you want to know more about it. That's what I'm wearing. And then another dewy product, while we're kind of on the dewy trend here, is from NYX, and it's the Dewy Finish Spray, Long Lasting Setting Spray. So this is what it looks like. It's just one of those setting sprays with a really fine mist on it. I don't know if you really saw it, but it just, it doesn't, it doesn't spray and like leave drops on your face. It's a very, very fine mist, very cooling. Um, I don't really know what's in it, but it kind of, it doesn't leave a shine, doesn't leave a sparkle, it just leaves a little bit of glow and I don't know what's really in this that enables it to do that like I've also been trying out this month the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray this one I've wanted forever because like I said I've been dealing with oily skin but I haven't found that I've been reaching for this because I just don't need it I don't I'm not getting extra oily my makeup's staying a long time so maybe in the summer I'll use this guy more but in the winter right now I just love this because it just brings life to my face so I'd highly recommend it it's NYX so it's really inexpensive um, I think it's gonna last me a long long time and I love it so that's that a powder I should mention that I've been using a lot with BB cream so if I'm just having a BB cream kind of day I've had this for a long time it's actually all I used to use for foundation but recently I've been pulling it out again because it just gives you that little bit of extra coverage it's from studio fix it's the Mac studio fix I'm the color NW20 powder. Just saw it sitting in my drawer and I was like, this guy needs some love. This is all I used to use. That's what the powder looks like. It's a perfect match for me. Um, and yeah, you can use it just as a powder. You can use it as a setting powder or you can use it with BB cream, which I like. So just quick and easy makeup. Loving this. Okay, let's do quick eyeshadows. We only have two strange I feel like I had more favorites but this first one's from wet n wild it's really cheap it's like a dollar it's a single and it's in the color creme brulee it's a little guy like that I'll open it up and it's just a perfect under the brow highlight it's pretty much my skin tone maybe a shade lighter than my skin tone I just like putting it up in here and then no matter what eyeshadow I blend out in the crease it just blends easier and gives some light and it's got it's really opaque and not powdery so it's a really nice consistency and really inexpensive Another favorite this month is from Sephora, these jumbo liner waterproof pencils. Man, I mention them a lot. I have a number of different colors. This is a new color for me, and it's probably the one I should have bought first. This is the color beige. Now, I have beige glitter. I wouldn't have picked up beige glitter if I realized it was beige glitter. Um, this is just beige here, and this is my kind of color. It's just a true, you know, champagne color. There it is right here, and it's just absolutely beautiful on the lids. It doesn't crease, holds up all day, blends out really nice, and then sets to, um, a not, like, doesn't move once it sets. And you can put eyeshadows on top of it. You can wear it on its own. It's absolutely perfect. I love it. My By far my favorite champagne eyeshadow product. Um, okay. Eyeliner. There's two new eyeliners. Well, one's not new to me. One's kind of an old favorite that I rediscovered. This is from e.l.f. I used to talk about the, this all the time. It's the Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. I think these are a dollar. Maybe two dollars. 
it's just so freaking awesome. This spine tip is so fine, yet not too flimsy, yet not too hard. Really, really pigmented. I, I do have to admit though, I've gotten some duds in my day. Like, I don't know, maybe sometimes you get some that are dried out. So if you open it and it really sucks, just know that you probably got a dud because most of these are pretty good. I've just run across a couple duds. They don't um, smudge on me. They hold up all day. They're relatively easy to remove at the end of the night. Very black. I can't say enough about these and they're so inexpensive. So I'm back on the elf train. Um, and then this one is from Rimmel. This is an Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. That's what this looks like. This again is in black. And the reason I picked this up is because I wanted to try this sponge tip applicator thingy on the end here. I've kind of gotten into the smudgy eyeliner where you just place the line down and you take the little sponge and just smudge it into a wing. And I've just been experimenting with it. I'll probably put up some kind of get ready with me doing that, but I really love that. This product, I don't know if I mentioned it last month or not. Um, but I'm still loving it. It's from Benefit and it's the Give Me Brow. It's a tinted brow gel. Perfect match for my eyebrows. I fill them in first with like a pencil and then I just use this just to keep it in place. It keeps all my brows in place and it just fills any sparse areas. The only thing I don't like about it is the very chemically smell that comes out of it, but uh, the rest of it I really, really enjoy. What else do I have going on here? Okay, the last Three products are more like hair body products. One of them, I was gonna say one of them, actually all three are from Trader Joe's. If you watch my main channel, you've seen that I've done a number of Trader, Trader Joe's hauls. Maybe I will link them down below if you wanna check them out. This one is the Coconut Body Butter. Very similar to the Body Shop Body Butter. Um, almost as thick, but more of like a, I don't know, like a gel? Let's say gel. I guess creamier, I don't know. It's not quite as hard, but it's still like super dense. That's not moving anywhere. So it's just a different consistency. It smells freaking amazing. Very hydrating. Doesn't leave your skin with that um, greasy feel as much as the Body Shop ones. If you really hate that, you might wanna check this out. I think this is way more inexpensive. Good ingredients too. And the last two products are these Shampoo and conditioners, love them. I know I mentioned this one, I think, in my yearly favorites. I only picked it up at the beginning of December. These are the Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo and Conditioner Invigorate with Peppermint Tea Tree and Eucalyptus Botanicals. At Trader Joe's, really, really expensive. I was pleasantly surprised because this shampoo, I've said this before, I thought it was gonna be a clarifying shampoo. I thought it was gonna strip my hair because of the tea tree. It's the most moisturizing shampoo I own. So if you have really dry hair and you want a moisturizing shampoo, this stuff is awesome. And the conditioner, um, it's just a really good pair, I suppose. I wouldn't call it a spectacular conditioner, but it does its job, it does it well, and it's inexpensive, and it's nice to kind of have the pair. So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Let me know what you think, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!